Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a West Coast style of beat, kind of in the sense of Nipsey Hussle. I listened to his album not too long ago. I'm not a little late on it, but the shit was dope and it just inspired me to make a West Coast type beat. And a plus on that, I haven't really done a West Coast type beat and did like some West Coast type sounds. So, this is a great time to kind of do that type of video because you guys have been requesting that for a while now. But if you ain't ready, if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date, and also follow me on Instagram. SoundCloud and Twitter also instead of date and also check out my website mrdifferentTV.com for the best sounds and beats on the internet so if you haven't already heard the beat I'll put a link in the description below you can look it up it's my Nipsey Hustle type beat the latest one dope track uh it was very very fun making the beat I really liked it and enjoyed it and you know I, I did some different things when making this beat so I'm gonna show you guys the kind of sounds I made because a lot of you guys were asking about the sound design behind it I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did to get that sound so let's go ahead and start with the first song the main melody I guess the main bass part because that's what I started off with it was just this right here so I know we got that kind of west coast bounce vibe you know kind of like that dj mustard type stuff um but yeah it's that nice like synth bass sound that analog synth bass style of bounce with like kind of like a, a house rhythm or something like that so what i used to get that sound was the arturia mini v3 which is basically a mini mode plug-in uh, emulation. You can use any one. There's one by Native Instruments that's good. Huey Diva got a good dope one. There's some other plugins that also out there like that, you know. But yeah, it's just a mini mode emulation. Or if you got a real mini mode analog mono synth, you know, use that. Basically, what it is is a square wave and uh, uh, two square waves and a triangle wave, just at a very low octave. The main thing to get this sound is filtering out a lot of the highs. That's the main thing because without all the highs, and it sound like this. So you want to make sure you filter out all them highs. So you just have like kind of low mids. And then you want to make sure you got a fast attack. But then your decay time, that's this is what's important. Your decay time, you want it very short. So a long decay be like this. But you want that short decay. That's, that's that's the main re way of making this sense. So you can make this in any plugin. You know, just use a square wave and a triangle wave. Make sure they're low octave. Filter out a lot of the highs, and make sure you have a fast attack and a short decay time because you want just to kind of snap and just bounce with it. I also did some extra processing with it. Also, you know, I believe in you know processing the shit out your sounds, and I just got to restart. Be right back. For some reason, I was having issues with opening this plugin up. I don't know why it's weird. FS Studio, get your shit together. But anyway, I cut out a little bit of loads as well because I did add a bass into this as well, which I will get into that later. But I did about a 50 cut hertz, 50 hertz cut, low cut, or high pass filter. And, you know, just did that, just kind of, you know, cut some of the loads out when I add a sub bass to it. So let's move on to the next sound. So we have the next sound, which is this clap. Your basic, you know, basic clap sound, nothing special there. Uh, I do have some reverb on. I got a little EQ cutting off the lows, of course. And I got re uh, reverb two from FL Studio. I want to just give it a little bit of, you know, reverb to kind of just make it, you know, make it sound open. You know, that's the main thing. If you really want that openness with it. Uh, I'm going to skip the kick drum. I'll come back to the kick drum. Go to the hi-hat, which is a standard hi-hat, nothing special there, but... So it's basically I randomized the pit, the the panning and the uh, I don't think I randomized the panning, but I did randomize the velocities and I did a little couple of little chops here and there. Nothing special there. You gotta keep it simple sometimes. Did add a low uh low a low cut. I'm gonna call it low cut. A low cut to it. Just cut out some of the lows and I added gross beats flanging. You know, cause I like doing the flanging effect when I do my hi hats. That's just something I like personally like doing. You don't have to do that, but that's just something I personally do to all my beats. So yeah, that's just that to keep them sounding nice and different. Then I add this triangle sound. You know, nothing special there. Um, 
and that's just hitting every so often, so you can see with the clap and everything. Easy peasy. Then I add this kind of like percussion sound I found. And I added a delay plug into it. Any delay will work. I'm using the Kilo Hearts delay because it's super simple. It's very basic and easy. I didn't really want to expend a crazy delay. But I just got a little tempo sync, uh, two over eight for one over eight, depending. You do it depending on your tempo. So you want to make sure delay goes with your tempo. But yeah, it hits right after the triangle, so it gives it kind of a little bounce. And the delay going to give it kind of a little bounce going on. And that's that right there. Next up is this analog patch that I got out of Analog Lab, which I love Animal Lab. I love it. Um, since I got all the sounds, I can go in and edit them easy. But it's a CM, it's the CMI, it's a CMI preset called uh, Taped Pad, which sounds like this. Pretty dope. They go to the patterns right there for you guys. You want to see the see the notes. I know a lot of you guys want to copy these notes. Go ahead and stop it. Copy whatever. That's how y'all do. Be original. Anyway, I added a reversal plug in on there. Like I said, you can use back mass and use gross beats. Uh, the reversal just giving a little bit of a flair to it. You know, not special there. And I add this ladder filter plug in pre this plug in, which basically just a high cut. I'm just cutting some of the highs out of it. So if what it sounds like without no effects on it. It sounds very, very digital sample, but I want to, you know, make it sound a little more analog. So I just kind of cut some of the highs, add a little reversal and, and also kind of pushes it in the background as well. So that's a good mixing trick right there. By cutting certain frequencies, you can actually push stuff further or further or further in the mix or closer into the mix. So keep that in mind when you're, you're doing stuff. So yeah, little thing. Next up is Onosphere preset. I think it's like a little bail patch. I don't even know what it is. We shall see when it opens up in about five years from now. Because that's how long Omnistry takes to open in my DAW because it's not on my SSD. All right, it's called Love Chimes. So it's just sound like this. You know, little little kind of sound. I like the it was it was good the way it sounded default, so I didn't do no effects to it. But adding with the melody and stuff like that, it does give it that kind of you know West Coast vibe, in my opinion, to it. So you know, simple little stuff like that can really add a big deal to it. And then I got this uh, choir sound, I think, if I'm not mistaken. We'll wait till it opens up. I love waiting for stuff to open up with you guys. How are you guys doing today? You doing good? I'm doing very good. I'm doing really, really good. I hope you guys are as well because, you know, I am doing amazing. All right, anyway, back is called um, uh, the Chaotic Vibes. Uh, pretty dope sound. I think it's a pad. But I'm gonna say I think it's a pad sound. Yeah, and that's just a bell sound. It's another bell. But I think I did. I put it as an arp, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I turned it. It's a bell sound that originally sounds like this. Oh, it's there. You go. Can we solo it? There you go. Actually, no. It don't originally sound that. It really sound like this. So yeah, crazy. So what I did was added a half speed on it. So we're going to go to nine, turn it on, add a half speed, which is gross beat killer. Everybody know that. Added a ladder filter, which is going to cut some of the highs out of it. And then just a little EQ to cut some of the lows. So now we have this. And then what I did to give it a little bit more movement is turn it into an art by turning on that one right there and just mess with the timing of it. And now it sounds like this. I 
like I tell you guys, you got to process the shit out your sounds in order to get that that sound, you know. So now all together. You know, simple, easy stuff. Come on, guys. You got you to process your shit. Anyway, got three vocal chants going on. That one. That one. And then this one. And they're all paying differently. As you can see, they're all paying differently. You know, in different ones down the middle, ones to the left, ones to the right. And they're all hitting in different times, so. You know, just like that, it gives it bounce with all the percussion sounds in it. Which, we will go back to, let's go to the kick drum real quick. Let's solo the kick drum. So you can see what I did to it. Nothing special there, just my favorite kick drum. I added a gate to it to tighten it up. Then I transient shape it because, you know, you got to. Did a little bit of clipping, soft clipping there. And then I did some extra soft clipping right here to give it that punch. Because without all that, you have this kind of weak sounding kick drum sound. Just sounds weak as hell then. You know, soft clipping and transient shaping can go a long way with this. And also using a gate too, because they can like clean up all that mess. But anyway, once you add in all the percussion sounds, well, most of them anyway, we got one more. You get this. See, having all them off time sounds and delays and reverb and stuff like that really adds more bounce to your tracks. Like just having stuff, you can have stuff quantized, but what you want to do if you got it quantized is add stuff in a different timing, like have stuff that don't hit exactly in the spot it's supposed to, have it slightly left, slightly right, slightly fast, slightly slow, and it gives more bounce and more movement to it if you have quantized stuff, because that can help, you know, get a bounce and a rhythm going, you know, for us quantized people. Next, I add this little symbol at the beginning, you know, simple symbol, nothing special there. Uh, another open hat that just kind of, you know, goes with the, the beat. And I did these claps right here, which are, you know, kind of the rising claps, which are easy to do. All you got to do is highlight one of the notes, hit Alt U, do the chop, and then you would just, you just drag up, you know, kind of just uh, like color in the, the paint, the velocity right there. So, you know, it kind of rises up. So now you get this sound with all that. And that's something DJ Mustard used, used to do all the time. That's just a simple little trick right there. Uh, yeah, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and put in the bass sound. So I'm using that uh, 808 sign bass. Nothing special there. Got a little EQ cutting all the highs because, like I said, I am, lay I am layering it with the Mini V. It's doing the same exact pattern as the Mini V. So I'm cutting all the highs with it and just focus on the lows, and that's it. And then I side chain it to the kick drum. So if you hear the bass in the... Um, that bass plus this sub, you have. You know, by cutting the highs from one and cutting the lows from one, you make them mix better. You know, so if you ever having trouble mixing two different type of bass, cut the highs from one, cut the lows from one, put them together, have one that's more high frequency content, one more low frequency content, and that will help them mix together a lot better. You get a bigger, fuller sound, and also you get a, that's a great way of sound designing and having a unique bass sound as well. So there you go right there. If you want to know, and now you know. So let's go ahead and put all these sounds back together, all the bass sounds. With all the percussion, so you can get that kind of you, you can feel that bounce real quick for it. Show you the last sound. Come on, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't messing with me. And then last but not least is a West Coast wine sign sound i guess saw um i actually sound designed this myself i use citrus a uh, citrus i use silent one because it's the easiest sound to make it in now how you make this sound basically is there's two ways to make it you can make it with a sine wave and you can make it with a sawtooth wave i did the one with the sawtooth because i wanted i didn't want to be the whistle the whistle would be if you want to make a whistle sound you would use a sine wave which i will show you but the square wave just the saw way where I want to go. All you need is a little bit of attack, uh, no decay, always sustain, no release. You want to have a what's it called high pass filter. 
because we're cutting the lows. And you want to cut some of the, you want to cut the lows out because you're just gonna focus with the high it, the high frequency content. And that is it. And then you want to add and make sure it's mono legato. So you want to make sure it's a mono lead sound. And then you want to have some glide to it so it just. And that's it. That's the sound right there. Now, if you want the whistle sound, you would turn to a sine wave and. Easy as that. And then with some processing, of course, all I did was add in a little bit of reverb. I chorused it, of course, because without chorus, it sounds kind of in. Add a little bit of chorus to it. You can use any chorus you want. It just kind of doubles the sound. And it adds some reverb, of course, because without reverb, it sounds dry. And that's not going to do good in the mix, though. So. And with that glide, you know, it just kind of glides the notes together. So now with all the melodies, you get. And there you go, an easy West Coast style, Nipsey Hustle style of beat right there. Very easy to make. It's not really hard, you know. Uh, he does have different styles, of course. You know, he does have more sample hip hop style stuff, which I might explore in that later down the road. But right now, I want to show you how to make that kind of West Coast style of bounce into it. And like I said, with the mixing, always is the same mix. I do have a mixing video coming up that will teach you guys mixing and show you how I get my mixes like it is and also how I get my masters hitting the way they hit because that's the main thing. But yeah, that was it. Simple, easy as that. Nothing special there. A little bit of arrangement, of course, you know, mix with your arrangement. Got a little automation to the volume to kind of fade out. Got my chant or my tag and that's it. Easy like that. So I hope you guys learned something. A lot of you guys been wanting me to do a West Coast style of beat. And here it is right there for you guys. So if you got any questions, leave them in the description below. If you got any requests, definitely leave them in the comment below. Let me guys know what you want to see next. I need your help to keep pushing out this free content. Like I said, I want to keep giving you guys a bunch of knowledge and all that, but I need your guys' help to let me know what you guys want to see next in the video. So if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. Thumb it down if you didn't. There's always that one hater. We all know who you are. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Like always, y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated by the money but the like comment subscribe and views and with that being said hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one everybody